and gentlemen, welcome back. Hope you had a good break. Hope you found um, things by your chairs, the point of which will become clear shortly. Um, thank you. Uh, as, uh, as anybody who knows me will, um, will know, I'm, uh, I'm a huge fan of Brian Eno. And um, it was my original plan to, um, to bring along Brian Eno's uh, box, of, uh, box of cards, oblique strategies today to draw from uh, when, I, when I felt inspiration failing me to, um, to, uh, to, to say something about, uh, about what needs to be said. However, I forgot at um, half past five this morning when I got up, it was not the, the uh, first thing on my mind. But listening to Chris earlier, uh, earlier on, I was reminded of one of the aphorisms in, Brian, in the Brian Eno Oblique Strategies, which I recommend actually to everybody. If you can get hold of a copy of the box of cards, they're absolutely fantastic. Um, my favorite is uh, honor thy mistake as a hidden intention. When we set up oblique strategy, uh, sorry, oblique strategies. When we set up inspiration, um, one of the kind of key ideas we had was that everybody is creative. Everybody, there, there is not a cre there is not a creativity gene that some people have and some people don't. Um, so it gives me it gives me great pleasure to welcome uh, Nick Bennett, uh, who is the Checks job title, Head of Product and Digital at Starcount, uh, who's going to talk very much in that vein. And, and, and ladies and gentlemen, Nick Bennett. Thank you, Michael. Um, I presume the uh, mic's working all right. Good morning, everybody. Um, just the uh, brief of, brief, briefest of introductions, if you don't mind. So I am indeed Nick Bennett. Um, and Chief Product Officer at StarCount. Um, probably most of you won't have heard of StarCount yet. Uh, for the last couple of years, and under the leadership of uh, Edwina Dunn and Clive Humby, we have been perfecting the art of fan science, which is all about understanding the connections and motivations between billions of people and hundreds and thousands of key influencers in the social universe. Uh, and very soon, we will be emerging into the market um, with, a, uh, priority, with, with a platform that will revolutionize the way that we understand brands and people by their passions and the communities that surround them. Anyway, back to today. We're here to find inspiration, I believe. See, just before we start, I just want to tell you, I'm going to take you on a journey. And I want, you all to, I want you all to let yourselves go and join me on this journey. And come with me on this journey together. And to be able to do that, I need to get to know every single one of you. So to begin with, bear with me, I'm going to look every single one of you in the eyes and go around the room, say hello, good morning, get to know you all. Excuse me, hello, hello. How you doing, how you doing? Hi there, that's nice. Nice glasses, thank you. Hello, Hi, good morning, good morning, how are you? How are you, how are you? How are you? Good, 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 lovely. Lots of smiles, that's good. Thank you, good morning. Hi, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. New there, guys, new there. Thank you, hello. How you doing? All right, how are you? Morning, hello, hello. There we go, hello. Hi, hi, I think that's the one. Sorry, sir, just in the eyes, thank you. Lovely. Uh, okay, well, here we go, there we go. Yeah, good, good. Okay, thank you so much. The back's a bit dark, but I can see you. Lovely, good morning. Morning, 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 morning. Excellent. Super. Right. Um, <clears throat> I, think, um, I think I feel like I know you all a bit now, which is good. This is a good place to start, because we're going to go on a journey together today. Um, and we're going to debunk this myth, this inspiration thing, this, this ethereal thing called inspiration that no one really knows how to find it, but we're all looking for it. And it always seems like it's just around the corner, or someone else is having it or someone else is inspired, or inspiration, how do we find it? There's so many theories and so many processes, but is it really, does it really exist? It's a, you know what it is? I'm going to tell you what it is. It's a burden. <clears throat> it's a burden that sits on all of our shoulders. This idea of this ethereal thing, this, this spark, this thing that we can't actually find, and no one knows really where it lives, or how to find it, or how to create it, and yet, 
it's, we're supposed to find it all the time. We're supposed to, we're, you know what? There are people, there are creative directors out there who wake up in the morning and feel sad because they have this burden on their shoulders, this burden of having to find inspiration again. And you know what? This burden is on all of our shoulders. This burden of inspiration is on all of our shoulders. This idea that we have to find this thing that's so ethereal and not able to be found, well, I'm going to debunk it. I'm going to de debunk it with all of you today. And we're going to realize that it's not quite what we think it is. So I always like to start with, with some definitions. So I find that uh, definitions help us to kind of, if you like, clarify and understand popular, popular conception around an idea. And if you can start with a definition, work out what we all think it is, you can break it down again and rework it and remodel it. And that's what we're going to do today, together, my friends, my new friends. So 1832, so this is uh, Merriam-Webster's dictionary. It's the, the first catalog dictionary, and it's still online. You can search it for what we thought things were in uh, 1832. And this is the definition of inspiration in 1832. The infusion of ideas into the mind by the Holy Spirit. The conveying into the minds of men ideas, notices, or munitions by extraordinary or supernatural influence. Wow. Good luck. I mean, that's not even finding it. That's getting it. Anybody here being breathed into by the Holy Spirit? <laughs> Let's take a little moderator. Let's go to the Urban Dictionary for a little bit more of a, a grounding view. So the definition from Urban Dictionary, <laughs> the top rated, perhaps 100 years ago or more, it was called inspiration. Now it's called plagiarism? Is that what we're looking for? Are we looking to steal? Come on, people, my friends, come on, come with me. So let's fast forward to, to now, and let's ask Google. Let's see the Google definition. So the Google definition of inspiration, a sudden, brilliant, timely idea. Helen had one of her flashes of inspiration. Well, that's great for Helen. <laughs> that sounds lucky for Helen at best, but it's Helen who's having it. What about me? What about you guys? Where's our flashes? Why does that belong to Helen? So, where's that left us? Sorry, there isn't a Helen in the room, by the way, is there? That would have been fantastic. <laughs> no Helens. Um, so, where are we? We are lucky to get breathed into by the Holy Spirit to find inspiration. We are stealing it from somewhere. Or, it's Helen's flashes of inspiration. Really? Is this what we're looking for? Okay. Must. Find inspiration. Okay. Now, um, to really go on this journey together, you all need to be completely honest with me. Is that fine? Everybody happy to be very honest? It's yeah. giggle stick time. You've all got giggle sticks around you. Pick up a giggle stick, everybody. I've been, I've been looking forward to the sound of this many giggle sticks for quite a long time. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's pretty addictive, isn't it? All right. Okay, okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to ask a series of questions. I'm going to ask a series of questions, and only if the answer is yes, please give your giggle stick a wiggle. Okay? <clears throat> I can't believe I just said that. Okay, so, so, who is in the iPhone camp? Nice. Who's in the Android camp? Who's thinking of shifting camps? <laughs> Who's still on Blackberry? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was cheap. Sorry, excuse me, that was, uh, that was cheap, that was cheap. Okay, let's get back to it. Let's start looking for inspiration. Come on, let's get serious, guys. Stick with me, stick with me. We're looking for inspiration now. Okay, honesty, please. Who here? has looked for inspiration in, in other people's ideas. Okay, who here has looked for inspiration in the arts? Well, I mean, who here has looked for inspiration from tech? Silicon Valley? Startups? 
Who here is here today to find more inspiration and to look for more inspiration? Okay, who here has made some inspiration? Good. I think we're onto something here, guys. I think we're onto something. Okay, so I promised you a formula. I promised you a formula because we are going to lift this burden today. As friends, new friends that we are, we're going to lift the burden. We're going to take this burden off our shoulders and take off these tight shoes of having to find that silly little flash from Helen over there at the end. Sorry, Helen, wherever you are. That over there is not what we're looking for. That's wrong. And that's why this ethereal thing is incorrect. And we're going to take that burden off by looking at the formula for inspiration. Because there is a formula. And this process, or this formula, all of us can follow it. It doesn't belong to the creative directors. It doesn't belong to the strategy directors. It belongs to all of us. And we can all do it. It's not luck. It's not stealing. And it's not chance. So where do we start? We start with emotional shift. Now, this is an important point, because this is where we're starting, when we start for this formula of finding inspiration. Now, the funny thing about emotional shift is that lots of us in our jobs, and I don't know which part of the product cycle you're all on, but I assume we're across the board. Some people will be at the birth of products, creating new products. Some people will be building new products, adding to new products. Some people will be marketing the products. Some people will even be PPCing the products, and that's fine. All of those people and all of us are actually in the business of shifting emotion. Because when that product lands in hands, whatever it is, at whatever point, every product shifts somebody's emotion. Now, it's very easy to forget that when you're deep in technology. It's very easy to forget that when you're deep in marketing. But the point is, you're shifting emotions. We all here are in the people business. The people business of shifting emotions. And if you can think about that, if you can think about those emotions, you will realize something very simple. That you're hardwired with this skill. These, these emotions, these pictures, these are things that we like to see. These are things that we like to create. We like to shift emotions. And guess what? You don't need to learn that. You don't learn that at marketing college. You don't learn that when you've developed technology. This is hardwired. We've all got this skill. We love this feeling. We love this feeling of shifting people's emotions. And this is the business that we're all in. It's so easy to forget about it. And I want us all today to not forget about it. And remember, this is where we start to look for inspiration. These feelings, these shifts are vital. And this is where we start. And that's a dog. <clears throat> you see, if we hardwire this feeling, which is inside us, this idea of emotional shift, and we connect it to our product, we connect the emotional shift that's hardwired in us, and we know that feeling. We can think of our product landing in someone's hands and creating that feeling of shift. Someone has got a new car. Someone has got, found something on, on paid search. Someone has got a better deal. Someone has got what they wanted. Someone's got a pre-order. Whatever it is, shift in emotion has happened. And if you can connect to that, if you can hardwire that and put pictures up around your studio, remember that's what you're really doing in the people business, then, my friends, we will have purpose. Purpose. Real purpose for doing this. Real purpose for getting up in the morning and not feeling sad, not feeling burdened. Because we're doing this to shift emotions. Every bit of communication we put out is in the hope not to make the sale, not to increase the, the profit of the business, not to increase the profile of your LinkedIn CV. We're actually doing it so that there is a shift in emotion, so someone gets something that they wanted. And that's so important. And if you think about that, and if you hardwire that feeling that you already have inside you to your product and what you're doing, then you have purpose. And let me tell you what, if you have purpose, you will put the effort in. You will seriously start putting effort in. This drive, this hardwired drive of shifting emotions is in all of you. It's right deep within you. And if you can connect to that, you will put the effort in. You will do things, more things than you'd ever believe, to get towards this idea of rubbing sticks 
This idea of rubbing things together, that's what creates sparks. Sparks come from continuously shifting things and trying new things and effort and effort and effort and eventually the sticks smolder and eventually you get sparks and fire. Rubbing granite across granite and flint, eventually the sparks happen. There's no mysterious chance there. There's no mysterious chance at all. Emotional shift connected to what you're doing. Remember, that's what we're doing. We're shifting emotions, giving us the purpose to, to get up earlier, to work harder, to do more, so that we put that effort in and rub and rub and rub and rub, and eventually sparks will happen. They will happen. Because you don't find inspiration. You make it. It's important to think that. This is a, it creates a very different way of thinking about exactly what we're talking about today. It's, a, it's not ethereal, it's not chance. We can all have it because we make it. We make it happen. And now I'm going to tell you there's five things, okay? We're going to go through five particular things that I want us all to try and do. You may well have done them, and I'm going to ask you at the beginning of each of them if you've done them. If you want a giggle stick and wave a giggle stick, feel free. But I'm going to ask you the question, honestly, have you done these things? So, these are the five things that will help you get inspiration. Fact. I've done them. I've done them with teams of people, and we've all done it, and it has worked. It does work, and it will work for you too. First one. Have you rubbed everything together? <laughs> Excellent. Starter. This is mashing things up. This is this idea of not just starting in a linear fashion, with whatever your problem is, whatever your challenge is, don't start exactly where your challenge is and stay in there and stay in your vertical. Come right outside. Bring things in together. Mash things up that you didn't imagine. Bring things from all over the place and bring them into your idea storming. Bring them into your ideation process. Really, really work at bringing new and different things in. Where do you think baby monkey riding backwards on a pig came from? <laughs> Jesus. I mean, that's ridiculous. It's a mashup, but it's so crazily viral. Baby monkey riding on a pig backwards. Bring things together that you would never have thought of, and you will start to have good ideas. Involve everyone. Who involves everyone in the ideation process? Good, good, good. Well, a lot of places and businesses don't involve everybody. It's important to get everybody involved, not just the strategy team, not just the art directors, not just the creative people, everyone should be involved. I've always had a theory, and I've worked on it for many years, that everyone should be involved in the ideation process. And I would have the entire agency coming in droves, three people at a time. Never make it more than three people. Three people at a time, in, out, in, out, across a day. Yeah? That works out far better, time-wise and resource-wise, than three hours with a group of 10 people. And it's fast, and it's swift, and it keeps it burning. That is what you need to do. And who accepts every idea? Right. We heard a little bit about this this morning. Now, this is important. So, oh, thank you, Billy. That's a rubbish idea. We're not going to squash that idea. No, we're going to take it off, Billy, and we're going to go, Billy, that's a rubbish idea, but thank you. Let's all work on this idea and start unwrapping it and see what else is inside this idea that looked rubbish. <gasps> Look at that. There's a gem in there, Billy. Well done, Billy. Now, we've done that together. You take every idea. When you think it's a rubbish idea, it isn't. Bring it in. Bring it into your process. Work with it. Bounce it around. It will make something else. Stay up really late. Who's done this? <laughs> I, I was hoping so. I was hoping so. OK, I mean really late. Stay up till 5 AM on your own. On your own. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> there must be Kate. Um, with your laptop and a sheet of A3 paper, do it. Do this once if you've never done it. You will find that you will get into a zone at some point. It might be at 2 AM, it might be at 3 AM. Keep looking around, thinking, thinking, thinking. You'll get into a zone. And when you get into that zone, you will see sparks fly. And please, stop being a job title. People aren't creative directors, or strategy, or marketing, or reception, or whatever. You're people. We're in the people business. We are people at the beginning and people at the end. We're in the business of doing things for people. We're people. Bring all people into this. Because you don't 
Find inspiration, remember? You make it. You make it with this formula that we can all follow. And I'm going to very briefly give you a couple of examples of how this has worked. Donuts seem to be a theme for the day. We had a campaign for a new range of donuts, and we're given a bog off. Everyone know what a bog off is? It's a buy one, get one free voucher. Not on my watch. Really? These things, just to buy one, get one free, these things are little moments of mouth joy. Come on, people. We can't let this one walk out of the door with a bog off. Come on, we're going to do better than that. Got my team together, and we rubbed sticks, and we came up with ideas and ideas, and every idea. These are not leaving our agency like this on a bog off. We're going to do better than this. What did we do? We brought them to life. That strawberry milkshake, she was a little it girl donut. One of four, one of four awesome donuts that came to town to win your hearts. We made shoebox sets for all of them. We videoed backstories. These, these donuts had lives. We brought them to life. We took them all onto Twitter. They all had their own Twitter account. And we stayed on Twitter 24-7 to get America involved and to get the world involved. We had thousands and thousands and thousands of people interacting. Here's a couple. Oh my god, this is great. Happy days when the Greg's Donuts are following you. Shifting emotions. Up there, we've got the Dandies, which is a, a punk rock band. They want to come jam with us in London. Shifting emotions. Down here, we had Mr. Wallace. Yep, the yes man. He's happy to have a donut bouncing along. And over here, Ronda Songs, bless you, Ronda Songs was an MTV nominated artist and she wrote a song and recorded a small song for the donuts. When does that happen with the bog off? It doesn't. The shift in emotions changes people's, and that's what we're doing. We're in the business of shifting emotions, spreading smiles. So, Star Camp, nearly two years ago now, we put on a huge event. At this point, we had somewhere to the tune of two years' worth of global trending social media data. And from this, we were able to tell who were the most popular entities in social media on the entire planet. So we decided to create an award show by the Oscars of social media and celebrate. We did this out in Singapore. But we needed to shift emotions. Again, I'm not going to let this event just happen without having some emotional shift in there. Where is the emotional shift? Where's the connection to people? to fans, to putting the fans first. So again, we rubbed sticks, we rubbed sticks, we stayed up late, we worked on it, we thought about it. We weren't going to let it just pass off as a great big event. No, it had to have something meaningful in it. So what did we do? We came up with a plan to create an app for fans. We had some great talent performing out in, uh, in Singapore. Um, we had uh, CeeLo Green, we had Kylie Ray Jepsen, we had LMFAO, we had Psy, all performing, and Aerosmith, all performing live. So we put this app out and we said, if you're a fan, connect. And we will listen to your social activity. And the biggest fans of these stars will take you out to Singapore to meet them. <coughs> not meet them backstage. Not meet them backstage at all. This is a moment here where the young superfan of Kylie Rae Jepsen, who's flown out to Singapore, got on stage while Kylie Jepsen was singing and was videoing her live in social media while Kylie Rae Jepsen was singing to her. It has always been my dream to meet her. Thank you, Star Count, for having this competition and for making my dreams come true. Thank you so, so much. That, my friends, is all about shifting emotions, and shifting emotions is what we do. So, today, if we can do one thing to debunk this idea of this inspiration thing, which is difficult to find and impossible to find, remember that we don't look for it. You're not going to find inspiration by looking for a flash somewhere or a spark somewhere. Because you don't find inspiration, you make inspiration. And ladies and gentlemen, give me a giggle sticks. Let's have some giggle sticks. This is the formula. Find the emotional shift and remember, that's what we do. We're in the business of people, emotional shift. That connects you to a purpose that will drive you harder than ever before. Try those five things, put the effort in, and I guarantee you, sparks of inspiration will come out. Fact. Thank you very much.